Assalamu alaikum and Jan Dobri everyone. Today's a uh, kutpa at uh, Juma here in Des Moines. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Frog in my throat. And a flash from Mila passing over my keyboard. <coughs> she goes again, silly cat. Anyway, today's a uh, kutpa was about responsibility, but specifically personal and family responsibility for the next generation of Muslims. And uh, the brother said that if you want your kids to grow up to be good Muslims, then the parents have to not only teach their kids, but to start young and they must learn about the religion themselves. You can't teach someone if you don't know what you're uh, talking about. You know, I can't teach uh, calculus because I suck at math. You know, just like a person who doesn't know squat about Islam can expect their child to know the Quran back and front, sideways, or every single hadith that was ever recorded about the prophet peace be on him so it is up to the parents and those others who are in charge of the kids for instance uh, teachers at the masjid where they go for the religion classes or to learn arabic and learn how to read the quran but the parents have to do their part and that's basically what he focused on and he also said that uh, you know, when the kids are young, it is totally the parents' responsibility and the teacher's responsibility. So if you teach the kids well and they follow what you teach them, and you teach it with authority, meaning you have the correct knowledge, you, you know what you're talking about, and if the kids follow it and continue that throughout their lives, and then they in turn pass it on, then you will, you will all get rewarded with Jannah, with paradise. But if you do not teach well and the kids mess up, it's on you too, as well as on themselves when they, when they reach uh, puberty or the age of responsibility. So he stressed the importance of parents or guardians and those charged with teaching the next generation that they must know what they're going to teach, otherwise they're not going to be as effective. And you have to remember that Allah watches, Allah knows all. And he also said that on the Day of Judgment, your kids will stand before Allah as well as you and you will have to answer for for instance if you do not teach the kids their religion Allah will ask them what did you learn about the religion um, this is not a direct quote but, uh, basically uh, the, the child will say you know, my parents did not teach me the religion and uh, of course uh, you know on the Day of Judgment, everything is out and open. You can't hide squat from a law. And that's, uh, you know, but when the kids are older, you know, after they reach puberty, when the kid should know right from wrong, then the kid also has to bear the responsibility to the, <clears throat> because they are, they have matured enough that they should be able to know what's what's good for them and what's bad for them. Yeah, so I'm just taking another drink of my tea. My throat's dry today, so excuse that. But anyway, so that is a reminder to all of us. And it starts with the parents. And he mentioned the hadith that if uh, parents want to have upright children, then even before they 
start trying to conceive, they have to ask Allah to give them upright children. They have to, and to protect them from evil. And they have to say some dua every time they uh, do uh, the act in, in the privacy of their bedroom. And that they need to keep praying. And even after the child is born, you keep praying to Allah, asking for guidance for the kid, uh, help to help in teaching the, the child the deen, the religion, the way of life. And uh, but you have to still do your part. You pray and ask for Allah's help, but you have to do your part too. Otherwise, it it just all goes goes south. And uh, although I do not have personal experience with raising kids other than uh, occasional babysitting my niece and nephews for a time or two now and then, you know, that's, I really can't say much about that. You know, no one else in my family is Muslim, so obviously I don't have any uh, kids to teach the religion that I'm aware of. Although I have spoken to the kids at the mosque a few times about certain things when I've been asked to. So you know, I am doing as much as I can at the moment and I will do so in the future if asked to. So just a reminder that if you want the next generation to practice the religion that you want them to practice then you have to teach it to them from the start yep. and you have to teach each other. For instance, if if a couple gets married and the wife does does know a lot about the religion, but the husband doesn't, then the wife teaches the husband or vice versa. You teach each other. So you there's this saying about half our deen, although the Imam didn't mention that specifically today, but it's out there. Half our deen is your your spouse and uh, I don't know the spouse yet, so I guess that uh, that will be up to a law for me. But uh, you have to work together as a couple and as parents if you are uh, still married, if you haven't lost your spouse due to divorce or separation or death for whatever reason, and then you have your responsibility. And, you, and that goes on until uh, basically till the next generation uh, leaves home and you can still give advice. So another flash of Mila's tale. So uh, that was today's Kutba. I hope it is some benefit. And as always, uh, if I screw up, it's from me alone. And if what I say is true, it's from Allah. So thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Dovid Zanya and Yasser Mila.